Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Road Brother YouTube channel. Today, we have something pretty dope back in the scary game. And uh, yes, I've been reading the comments, and it seems like there's a few things that you guys would like added or changed. Um, I'm ready to do that today. So I did make myself a little list of the most common things I see within the comment section. Of course, there's a lot more stuff, but you guys don't exactly know what the gameplay is like yet. So there's some things that just don't make sense for the game. Anyways, I guess we should uh, click play to actually kind of go through our list. It would make more sense. Also, let me know about my room, guys. I turned all the lights to like a nice white. I feel like it's it's just a brighter feel. Uh, let me know if you like this better or the older thing with all the colors and stuff. So anyways, here's the things. Uh, by the way, this is my girlfriend's dream game. Not really mine. So she makes all the decisions uh, on everything, how it plays and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, first things first, a camera UI. This is supposed to be sort of a found footage type of deal. So we need to make the uh, the screen itself look like you're looking through a camera, which we kind of did with this uh, night vision effect. And we have some little lines across the screen, which is very nice. But we need to add a little bit of a camera UI as well. Another thing that we need to do, this is the current walk animation. It's the normal Roblox one. You walk a little bit too fast and it shakes pretty much everything. So we're going to slow down the walk speed and we're going to add a sprinting ability, probably like shift to sprint with a stamina bar. So you won't be able to sprint forever, uh, but you will be able to sprint or walk. Another thing that a lot of people keep mentioning is the door signs. The signs on top of the door, they say they don't don't fit. And that could be true. I don't really know how I'm going to change those to make them look better yet, but we'll figure it out. While we're at the doors, the next, I don't want to say complaint, but sort of complaint. The doors are way too low poly for the uh, the vibe of the game. Like, as you can see, it's, it's real dark, grungy, uh, a bit more towards the realistic side. And then we have this very low poly door. So yeah, that's all the stuff we're going to fix today. Doors, door signs, walking, sprinting, camera overlay UI, and I think that's it. Maybe more if we get more ideas. So first things first, we're going to do the easiest thing. We're going to add in our sort of camera UI-esque thing. Check this out. We're going to bring this into starter GUI, and now we can kind of see what's going on. And then we're going to add in another image label. We'll just duplicate this one. And I'm going to change the top one. We need a new asset ID. And I have this guy right here. We'll just call it cam. There we go. Create. Uh, an error occurred. See output window for details. Okay. Battery quest. All right. I'll try to make a good one. All right. There we go. So guys, as you can see, now we have sort of a camera look on the top of this. We are going to have to mess around with this transparency a bit because we do want this. I don't want all the way like this. I want a little faded, a little bit more worn out old of a look, but that, that looks pretty cool. I can't lie. Now we're going to put this back into our replicated storage because each game or story in this will all have like a different camera view, uh, I guess, if, if that makes sense. But now if we click play, guys, check this out. It now looks like we're looking through a camera. Maybe we can add some sort of animation to this flashing battery bar, turn those green, I don't know. But for now, at least we have this done. Now the walk speed and all that stuff, stamina, sprint, all that stuff, Robo is gonna be doing, so shout out to him. I guess what I could do is start working on the doors and the door sign. I'm gonna go find a reference image and I'll be right back. All right, just found a reference for the door. I think it looks pretty cool. We're gonna go with something like this right here. Uh, it's got that really old look that I'm going for, and uh, I think it would just fit the vibe of the tunnel pretty good. Also, in one of our little story game mode whatevers, I want to do a door like this, because that's also really cool. But... We're gonna start with our normal frame. And the first things first, I don't know why I left this plastic. Uh, I have a very bad habit of not coloring stuff. Like if all of this was just metal, it would probably look 10 times better. So first things first, material manager, let's do this brushed metal because I do think it looks pretty good. We may switch to corroded, but for now, let's keep it like this. Now I'm gonna bring this in twice and then drop it once and put that on all sides 
this is just gonna give a little bit more depth and dimension to our door frame. I do think maybe these should be on the lighter side to almost match the tunnel walls. And then it's like you have a frame inside the frame. I think that looks good. However, this, this, that was bugging me. <laughs> Ooh, another thing. What if the door, what if these went back and the door filled in the front? That looks how this, how this picture is. That's like exactly how it looks. So we're gonna duplicate these right here. As you can see, Robo's working on the stamina door. Bro, one on the bottom. Did I say the stamina door? Cause, uh, <laughs> not exactly what I meant. <laughs> All right, I gotta be honest. It doesn't really make sense to have both of these. Uh, it's just not really gonna work out. So I'm gonna delete the back ones. And this whole door right here, uh, this will be the door. So let's grab this, take it all the way to the back. I do believe the back side is pretty much flat. We may add a little bit back here, like two rods. I'd say something like that. And then uh, we need to add those in the front, but make them quite a bit bigger. Now what I wanna do is change the color of this to like a brown, like dusty. Yeah, maybe a bit darker. We are on the right path though. Bit more orangey. I'm thinking something like that is actually actually looking pretty good. Can we get an F in the comments for the old switch? If you guys missed that video, uh, this was the switch and then we turned it into this. <laughs> Sometimes I'm way too lazy, dude. But this door, I want to see how corroded metal looks. Ooh, okay. Hold on because it could look fine. Why is it such a, why is it such a bright? Like, oh, all right. We're going to have to stick with this metal. I got to be honest. I do think it would be good to add this, this little stain texture on it. Probably. Well, not really on both sides. It just makes it look a bit more scary. We want this to be on the back. And then of course we need a little bit of a door handle. Now I could probably make this quicker in Blender, but since we're here, we're here. We're going to copy this cylinder's position and then paste it in to this uh, sphere. And then we're going to shrink the sphere down to line up with the cylinder, drag it up. So it lines up perfectly like this, then duplicate this and do the same thing to line it up one more time. And then we just have to copy that and put it at the bottom right there. Now we can move these in and it's gonna look like a pretty nice door handle. All right, now I do think this would look a lot better if we went back towards our grayscale or at least copied the door. We'll try that first and then make it a little darker or lighter. I'm not mad at that. Let's try a little bit lighter. I think something like this. The door looks a lot better than it did. Is it too dark now though? <laughs> Definitely quite a bit darker. I think I'm gonna bump it up to around here just so you can actually see the door. And then the last thing, Thing. The sides just seem a little too big. There we go. I think this door looks a lot better than the old one. Still has that low poly look, but definitely at least a little better. Up next to the signs, which I still have no idea. All right, guys. So I just hopped into Blender and uh, messed up a cube. I think this looks way cooler. A lot more detail, of course. And uh, we'll use the 3D text on Roblox, like the plugin, to go ahead and uh, make all of the words. As long as there's a scary font. But I do think this looks so much better than just the square that we currently have. So I'm excited. Holy cow. So basically this one was made by Robo and uh, you know, he's not really a builder. He's a scripter. Very good at it as well. But guys, look at this. This fits the vibe of the game so much better because we have this like this corroded sort of vibe. Even the font change that itself, guys, it's the little details. I'm telling you the font change is is crazy. If we go ahead and play the game, check out all the progress we've gotten already today. So we have this as our our UI, which is very, very cool. I do want to try to get rid of the toolbar flashlight and then just say press F for flashlight or something like that. I think having the tool is, is a bit old school. Anyways, check this out. Walk speed slowed way, way down, guys. This, this is pretty cool. We don't have custom footsteps yet, but we do plan to add those in this video and the sprint. So you can sprint with a working stamina bar. Here's the new door in the new signs versus the old old door and the old signs. Holy cow. I think this is so much cooler. All we have to do is replace everything with the new signs, make the rest of the texts and uh, hopefully a custom footstep sound. All right, my dudes, let me turn on the desktop audio so you guys can hear everything and see everything that we've done today. So first things first, listen, man, boom. We've got a flashlight. We have custom walk sounds now. As you can see, we have a slower walk speed overall, and we can also sprint with a stamina bar. 
We have new doors with new signs. Just overall has a way better aesthetic. Sound effects on everything still, as always. And uh, I think this is really starting to come together. I'm genuinely curious if you guys could hear me at all or if you just heard loud footsteps. But hey, we're gonna roll with it and hope for the best. I think that is going to wrap up today's video. There's one more room to build in the tunnel. And, uh, and then I think this, this map for the game will be done after we build that room. I want to have at least three to five maps before releasing the game. But for today, I think that will wrap it up. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.